welcome to 2022. Let's hope it's better than 21. <laughs> Here are three awesome Steve Vai licks. I'm a massive Steve Vai fan, so this is going to be really fun. First things first, this guitar does not belong to me, although it should do. It's an original gem from a long time ago. It's signed by Steve. It belongs to my good friend Luke Grek, who is currently selling it. Luke, you're crazy. I have strung it. I have set it up. It plays and sounds incredible. And I'm really hoping that through making this video, he will choose to change his mind. Everybody, please comment. Luke, change your mind. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So I've chosen three licks. Uh, they're not too complex. Please don't worry if you're not a 20 fingered tapping wizard like Steve. You'll probably get to grips with these fairly easily if you take it slowly. I will teach you note by note, fret by fret. I'll give you fret numbers. Uh, two of the licks are from Passion and Warfare, and one of them is a lick that I have seen him play live. Let's start with the first lick from Erotic Nightmares. Sounds like this. <laughs> So let's kick off with a 15th fret B string bend, up A tone. Then play the same note on the 12th fret of the E string. Back down to the B string, we're gonna go, which is 15, 14, 15, and then back to the E string 12. And then play that same note by bending the B string 15th upper tone again. So that phrase is, Here it is, ultra mega super slow. All you need to do now is return this B string to the natural note and play the 15th fret, then the 14th to the 15th. So it goes. And then you're gonna go up to the E string 12th fret and play from this to the 14th fret and then back to 12. Then up to the B string 15, up to the 12th fret, back to the 15th B, down to the 14th fret B, and then bend that a semitone. So it sounds like this. <laughs> and so the whole thing, clean and slow, sounds like this. And up to tempo with some gain. Sounds like I think it's a really, really nice lick. It's got this kind of weird Vi quality to it, despite being almost kind of pentatonic and fairly simplistic. There you go. Take a listen to it on the track Erotic Nightmares from Passion and Warfare. And if you've never listened to Passion and Warfare, where have you been for the previous 25 years? I don't know how many years. Somebody please tell me in the comment section below how many years it's been since Passion and Warfare was released back in the 80s because I can't remember. Lick number two comes from one of my favorite tracks on Passion and Warfare, that along with the riddle. It's called The Animal. It's such a great track. I'm fanboying slightly, but I'm allowed to. It's 2022. Um, Anyone who's a fan of this album will recognize this immediately. It's kind of a pentatonic blues lick, which is not unusual from Steve, but he does it in such a cool, cool way. And it's kind of an easy lick, so check this out. It sounds like this. Now you can forget the bar shenanigans if you want, and the bit that I want you to learn is this. Because I think it's just a beautiful example of pentatonic blues rock playing from Steve Vai. So let's commence with swearing finger on the 14th fret G string for justice and truth. The 15th fret B string with our third finger, and we're gonna bend it a mighty amount, such as would Gregory Cockery. So you get, and then 
Uh, so you're going to go 14 on the G string, 15th fret on the B string, and then 13th fret on the B string. That, ba -dee -da. And that happens twice. So you go ba -dee -da, ba -dee -da, ba -dee -da, like this. Got that? It's really easy. I'll do it again nice and slow for you. And you can kind of pick this any way you want. I'm hybrid, I'm using a pick, and I'm using my second finger on my right hand to get those notes out. Um, and then we're gonna slide down, and we're gonna use this 12th fret G string for a sad little uh, tone's worth of bend and a return. Back to the first finger on the 10th fret, down to the D string 12th fret. Roll it over to get the 12th fret G string, and then spank that uh, 10th fret G string with a lot of vibrato, which you can then pull off to the open G string, and just touch slightly in front of the 3rd fret G string to get that hum on it, that one there, that won't come out unless there is gain. And you get this. I'll play it with gain, but slowly, so that we can hear that harmonic. And you gotta go crazy with the bar, that's what he does. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. He is ultimately the most expressive person with the whammy bar, in my opinion. Anyway, here's the whole thing, nice and slow. I had the utmost honour and privilege of playing with Steve at the Larvik Guitar Festival in Norway. Uh, not only did I play with him, but I got to interview him live on stage and talk about production, engineering, recording, writing. He was playing songs he'd written on his phone through the microphone. We spoke. Um, and then we jammed and played Wind Cries Mary. We were back to back, and in my head I honestly went, shoot me now, this is one of the best musical experiences of my entire life. And there's a lick that Steve does live. I saw him first playing this lick on a two-necked guitar on YouTube, something he was doing, some guitar expo or something like that. And he played this during our jam, and I looked over and saw it and went, oh man, I love that lick. And it's like this. It's such a cool lick. Of course, it's Lydian. Um, if you're a fan of Steve, you'll know that he uses a lot of the Lydian mode, which is a major scale, with a sharpened fourth degree. And this happens to be, uh, well, I just played it for you in a Lydian. Uh, but wherever you put it, it would be in Lydian of the first finger notage. So this would be G Lydian. But this is A Lydian. And it's just a series of fifths, fifth shapes, if you will. So uh, here it is clean and slow for you. It's really easy and it's really Steve Vai sounding, which is why I love it so much. So it just goes fifth fret and then play a fifth, play a power chord. And then slide your first finger to where your third finger is. And then do the same thing, another power chord. And then do it again. Slide your first finger to where your third finger is. Now here's the jump in tuning because of the way the guitar is arranged to make it easier to play chords. So we're gonna move the first finger up to the 11th fret G string. But now the th you can either use a little finger pinky or a third finger, which I generally do, to play the 14th fret B string. And then again, first finger to that 14th fret and make a fifth. So you get this. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? So if you're playing. how it works. You just whack it on a root and you are playing Lydian. Here's how it sounds again with gain, uh, slowly.
don't sell the guitar, Luke. It's too good. I hope you've enjoyed these three Steve Vai licks. I definitely did. <laughs> Have an amazing day. Enjoy 2022. Take it easy. Chapel's out.